before a primary, after a registered voter is checked in by the ballot clerks, the voter is given the appropriate party ballot, Democratic or Republican, depending on how that voter is registered on the checklist. There are two ballot options that the poll worker places into the paper feed tray in the Accessible Voting System printer. A. Ballot on demand, a pink or blue sheet of paper. B. Pre-printed ballot, a Republican or Democratic ballot. The tablet is programmed in advance by the Secretary of State's office. The moderator and clerk will be notified prior to the election which option the polling place will use on Election Day. The poll worker selects the appropriate party button on the touch screen. For a general election, there is no party selection. The poll worker asks the voter, and the voter decides whether they wish to listen to the candidate names using the headphones, yes or no. A. If the voter answers yes, the screen defaults to this setting. B. If the voter's answer is no, the poll worker changes the touch screen to no. The poll worker enters the appropriate five-digit access code for that town or ward on the tablet touch screen. The five-digit code is located inside the tablet box cover. The poll worker can call 603-271-8241 if he or she cannot locate this five-digit code. After the poll worker enters the access code, the tablet confirms the selection of the appropriate ballot by displaying a confirmation like the one shown here. Okay. So, the poll worker explains to the voter that there are two options for the voter to make selections. The voter can use A, the touchscreen, or B, the keyboard. Now we will demonstrate tablet touch screen navigation by the voter. The poll worker explains these navigation options to the voter. Back will bring the voter back to the previous screen. Top will bring the voter to the first office on the ballot. Clear will clear all the selections the voter has selected for that office. Review allows the voter to review their ballot choices at any time. Continue will advance the voter to the next office. The voter should use the Enter key when prompted by the screen to continue. To type in a write-in candidate, the voter uses the letter keys, starting with their index fingers on the tactile keys F and J. Moving to the next step, if the correct ballot selection is confirmed, the poll worker selects the Continue option on the touch screen. If the correct ballot selection is not confirmed, the poll worker selects the Go Back option on the touch screen, and the Access Code screen will appear again. After the correct ballot code has been entered and the poll worker presses the Continue button on the touch screen, C, please wait, will be seen briefly on the screen and the voter will be able to start voting. The poll worker advises the Dr. voter Eden that he or she can start voting by, by pressing the Enter button. Right, the voter presses the Start Voting button located in the lower right corner of the touch screen or presses Enter on the keyboard. The poll worker checks to see if the voter needs any additional assistance. If not, the poll worker leaves the voting booth. After the start voting is selected, the screen illustrated here will appear. The touch screen will inform the voter of the contest and the number of candidate choices that the voter may select. Once the voter has made a selection, the system will indicate this choice by placing a check mark next to the candidate and will prompt the voter to press continue on the touch screen or press the enter key on the keyboard. The voter will repeat the process for each office until the voter reaches the end of the offices on the ballot. The voter may review the ballot by office and change the candidate selection by touching the appropriate boxes on the touch screen or by using the keyboard. 
The voter may finish voting and submit the ballot at any time by touching the Print My Ballot box on the touchscreen. When the ballot is submitted, the screen displays the message, Your Ballot is Printing. An image of the printed ballot or the voter's marked ovals will temporarily appear on the touchscreen. Now we will demonstrate navigation of the keyboard by the voter. If headphones audio have been selected, the voter must navigate using the keyboard. Ask the voter if they need assistance with the keyboard. If so, guide the voter to place their left and right index fingers on the tactile keys F and J, and also help the voter to locate the Enter key and the right and left arrows with their fingers. The poll worker instructs the voter as follows. Use the Enter key when prompted by the audio to continue. To type in a write-in candidate, use the letter keys, starting with index fingers, on the tactile keys F and J. Use the right arrow to quickly navigate through the candidates and go to the next office. Use the left arrow to go back through the ballot quickly. This arrow feature is only available with the headphones audio option. If the poll worker confirms the correct ballot selection, the poll worker selects continue. If the poll worker does not confirm the correct ballot selection, the poll worker selects Go Back, and in the access code screen that appears again, re-enters the correct access code of the town or city ward. After the correct ballot code has been entered and the poll worker has selected Continue, the voter will hear the words To start voting, press Enter. The poll worker may further advise the voter that he or she can start voting by pressing the enter key and checks to see if the voter needs any additional assistance. If not, the poll worker leaves the voting booth. The voter chooses start voting by pressing the enter key on the keyboard. The system will inform the voter of the contest and the number of candidate choices that the voter may select. Once the voter has made a selection, the system will repeat the voter's choice by audio. The voter will repeat the process for each office until the voter reaches the end of the offices on the ballot. The voter may skip contests by waiting for the next office and may move forward more quickly by pressing the right arrow key. The voter may review the ballot by office and change the candidate selection by waiting for the desired audio prompts and pressing enter. To write in a candidate, the voter must wait for the correct prompt. To vote for candidate write in, press enter. You have selected to write in a candidate name by spelling the candidate's name. The rule to follow is the voter must wait for all prompts to cycle through before pressing enter. To select I, B, C, D, or E, press enter. To select F, G, H, I, or J, press enter. To select K, L, M, N, or O, press enter. To select P, Q, R, E, or T, press enter. To select U, V, W, X, Y, or Z, press enter. To select a space, press enter. To select a backspace, press enter. To select clear your letters, press enter. To select submit your name, press enter. This is the prompt to have the system select the write-in candidate's name that you entered. After pressing enter, the system will state, Selected John Smith to go to the next contest. Press enter. 
The voter may finish and submit the ballot at any time by waiting for the audio prompt to submit your ballot, press enter. When the ballot is submitted, the system prompts your ballot is printing. Poll workers and voters should understand that once the printer receives the message from the tablet, the touch screen reverts back to the start screen. No voting information is stored in the tablet.